The big organizations refused to support me, so I was pretty much on my own. And then very luckily, a gentleman named Peter Laverick, he uh, stepped up and he called me in for a private meeting with himself. And he said, listen, I, I think that there's a chance for you to win this case, but you will be going it alone because the big organizations are not going to support you. Many of the former colonies of Britain have in their constitution what is called a savings clause. And the savings clause protects all laws that predate our independence. So the buggery law, which was a British colonial era law, was saved, could not be challenged in a court of law. Uh, very luckily, uh, my team, mainly Peter Laverick, came up with a strategy to get around it, and we did. And that's why this challenge has been so historic because of the legality of it and the strategy that was used. Well, that moment in court, I think, hearing the judge use the, the language that he was using, I think everybody was shocked. I think we knew that this was history happening before our eyes. I will look over my shoulder for the rest of my life after this win. Uh, unfortunately, with the right, the up, up swing of the right wing movement and anti-LGBT uh, rhetoric being driven by mainly Christians and Muslims, it's been incredibly difficult for me not to keep looking over my shoulder and to wonder if I, I am in very serious danger. Britain spread homophobia across three quarters of this planet. And if we don't in Britain start working much harder at the dismantling of the laws that we spread, then uh, things are not going to happen and things are going to go wrong. Well, currently there are 36 uh, former colonies of Britain, members of the Commonwealth, that criminalise LGBT people using British colonial era buggery laws. In terms of my final appeal being held at the Privy Council, a number of those countries also have the Privy Council as their Supreme Court. So my win there will seal victory for a lot of other cases across the, across the Commonwealth. So this is historic and it's a, it's a very big deal and I'm very proud. Yeah.